Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jason from Straight Edge Knives and today we definitely have a different video for you today because we're not talking about a knife today. We're talking about a flashlight. Uh, you know, I got to thinking about it and I'm like, hey, knives are obviously awesome tools. They're great for all sorts of different things, but flashlights are an awesome tool to have as well and something that, you know, everybody should probably carry around. Maybe not necessarily this size for everyday carry, but as I progress into more flashlight reviews we will be getting into some EDC type flashlights uh, but today I wanted to go over this Phoenix HT18 hunting flashlight um, don't let the name fool you you can actually use this for way more than just hunting but uh, it was primarily advertised as a hunting light because of the amount of distance that this beam can go uh, which is pretty crazy I've had this flashlight since June of 2023 uh, here we are, what, uh, February of 2024. Uh, so I have used this light quite a bit. Um, really like it. Um, and that's why I decided, you know, for a flash re review, I was going to like kind of make this the first light that I did because uh, I've had some experience with it. And I really like this thing. And I think you will too. And my goal here is not necessarily to go over the full unboxing and uh, like be super uh, spec specific, if that makes sense. Um, it's to focus more on like the use of it and you know demonstrate how it works essentially um how you know i'm, I'm going to try to do this where i'm going to after we go over this rough overview i'm sorry i can't even think i'm going to say this after we go over this rough overview i'm basically going to wait till it gets dark and then i'm going to go out i'm going to show you how this light functions at night like what kind of realistic distances are maybe that we that we can see how like the light goes that doesn't make sense scratch that we start on basically what I want to do is show the performance of this light and maybe that will help you determine if maybe this is something you need in your kit and if it's something you want to use for everyday carry or something you want to keep in your truck or take out your camper or anything like that but again this is primarily touted as a hunting flashlight and as you can see it does have a large bevel now don't let that fool you this is surprisingly for the amount of light that this thing throws out it's not that big of a light which is very surprising um, I mean, yeah, it does have this larger head here, it's kind of thinner body, but you can see, put my hand around it. Yeah, it's got, a, it's got some size to it, but man, the amount of light that throws is amazing. So let's go over real quick, some of the quick specs on, quick specs on this. I'm talking about the different modes. You have a turbo mode, which is 1500 looms. Um, you have a low load, a low mode that's 30 looms for 61 hours at 160 meters distance, medium, is 150 looms, 20 hours, 15 minutes runtime, 300 meter distance. Uh, high, you have 500 looms, 4 hours, 15 minutes runtime, 570 meters. And then turbo, the highest output is 1500 looms, 1 hour, 40 minutes, at 925 meters. So this is essentially touted as basically throwing a light beam distance of 1,011 yards. Now, realistically, that's this is what I want to do in my light reviews. Let's, let's be realistic about that. Am I going to be able to see something at a, maybe it's something large, like a house or something like that at a thousand yards lighting up a flash? But if you're trying to use this as a hunting light and you light up a rabbit, yeah, you're not going to probably see that rabbit at a thousand yards. That's probably the, literally the tail end distance that this light beam is going to travel. Um, so realistically, I would say that small things, smaller objects, maybe not get lit up as well at a thousand yards, but between zero to 500 yards yeah you're lighting some stuff up six seven hundred yards quite possibly as well and we're going to try to test that out we're going to go out to a, a orchard here when it gets dark and we're going to mark off some spots and we're going to try to show distances from the low medium high and turbo okay uh but it's pretty much a 1500 loom flashlight it does come with a re this is the older model there is a newer model that just came out that has a charging port on the side but this comes with a rechargeable battery which is very nice you just unscrew the tail cap pop the battery out it takes a USB-C charger, so like if you have a newer Android phone or anything like that, you can literally use your phone cord to charge it. But there is one that comes in the box. Um, it has a USB on one end and the USB-C on the other. Or you can, like I said, use your phone charger if you have like an Android. That works as well. Um, it also came with, I just so happen to still have the box. That's why um, I've kind of got some of this information here. Um, it also comes with uh, two lenses, since it is a hunting light. I'll show you guys these lenses real quick. It comes with a green, you can see that, and a red lens for hunting applications. I'm not 100% sure 
what the difference is between uh, the green and the red as far as hunting applications goes. Uh, I do know they help you know maintain your night vision if you're out hunting at night, things like that. Uh, I also believe that some animals can't see those colors. So if you're like looking for an animal specific um, and you got the flashlight with the red or green cover on, it will help them not maybe scare the animals away. Uh, if you are a hunter and you use a flashlight for hunting all the time, please sound off in the comments below and let me know. Uh, I really like to know that because learning like everybody else is. Uh, but essentially, I'm going to put the green kind of just snaps right down there into the bezel. It's on there pretty good. It's not going to fall out on you. It does have a little tab here so you can pop it off, but you can see the green there. So with the tail switch, you can turn the light on and then there's a mode button right here. You see that? So this actually will fluctuate you through your different, you can see that's low, medium, high, turbo, I believe. And then if you press and hold it down, you go into strobe mode. So I kind of did that with a green cap on so it doesn't blow your face out, you know, because this thing is super bright. But if uh, at the end of the day you don't need the cap, you just pop that right off and now you got your back to your light. And uh, you know what, let's do this. Let's go right here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead. Kind of, kind of see the modes. There's your strobe. So it's kind of hard to see, obviously, during the daytime. It does have the nice tactile tail cap, so you can audible click. You can hear that. And then you have your monetary. You can kind of lightly press it and kind of go on and off. So it works really good. Um, again, the distances that you can see this light, though, are amazing. It has a really tight beam that goes a really long ways. So if you're looking to spot something at distance, you're out in the field camping or anything like that, you can definitely do that. Uh, if you were out on a long backpacking trip or something like that, and you got lost, caught in a, you know, got caught in a storm, you're lost, and now the helicopters are swirling looking for you or whatever, you shine this puppy up in the air on turbo mode or with the strobe on, they're going to know where you're at because it almost looks like you've got a Star Wars lightsaber blasting up into the sky. And I'll try to show that on the camera tonight. Hopefully it comes out looking good and you guys can see like the see how crazy long this thing is uh for quick reference what i'm going to do is where i'm sitting at to a certain spot in my yard that i'm going to flip the camera around and show you right now so i'm sitting right here all the way across my yard this way there's two chairs i walked it out it's roughly 60 yards so tonight i'll be able to show you from this spot to the chairs the low medium high and strobe at 60 yards and then we're going to go out to the field and we're going to push it out to 100, 200, 300 yards if we can, um, just so you guys can really see distances. Uh, it'll try to be a nice flat area so, you know, you can really kind of gauge the, the length and distance. So stand by. Let me uh, show you guys where I'm talking about right now. Flip this right here. Hey, how you doing? Forgive the yard. It's been raining a lot lately. Today is probably one of the sunny days we've had. But if we shoot all the way across to there, that is 60 yards where those two chairs are right there okay so here a little bit later on tonight once it gets dark we will go from this spot we will take this light give you a nice up close look at it it's got an aluminum body it is waterproof rated to i think two meters or something like that so definitely don't want to leave it submerged but if you do drop it in the water real quick you snatch it out you'll be all right but uh definitely want to be able to give you guys a look at how amazing we far this light will shine so we'll see you in just a little bit once it gets dark hopefully the kukuis don't come out and then if we do we can light them up and I guarantee you i got a knife on me too so we'll see you in a few minutes stand by hey what's up everybody this is chase from straight edge knives okay it's gotten dark out here and as i said before uh, i'm gonna do this 60 yards from the point that i was sitting at to those chairs and we're gonna start off with the lowest setting so we're gonna turn it on so right around there is 60 yards, and those are where the chairs are. So we're going to go up to the next setting, which would be medium. As you can see, you can see the chair there in the, in the um, ground. You can kind of see up the trees as well. And then if you go to high, definitely lights up the area. So those are the two chairs over there. And then you can kind of come up. You can see I can light up the top of the trees there easily. And then this is turbo. So turbo is super bright and you can see easily coming up the trees, no problem. So we're gonna kick it back down to low. Forgot to show you the top of the trees a little. So you can 
kind of on the camera it looks a little brighter than maybe what it is in person but I mean you can still see up there if you had to see something but let's press and hold down the turbo button there's your strobe and you can see it has a multitude of strobing effects yeah turn that off cool all right so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna throw I'm gonna throw one of these filters on here so here's the red filter and we'll do this out out there too in the uh, or in the field but this is low setting with the filter on you can kind of see some red barely a little bit like here here it is on the ground um, but not very bright right so we'll go up to the next setting definitely a lot better uh, so that's medium there's the chair right there that's high and that's turbo so you can definitely see up there if you're trying to like preserve your night vision you can still definitely get some good light out there let's kick it back down to low and then let's switch it over to the uh, green yeah there it is the green one so there's the green on low you can kind of see it right here on the ground I come up you can't really see the chair over there with the green kick it up to medium still a little bit harder to see but it's starting to get out there you can see here it is on the ground that's high so now you can see the chair out there a little bit uh, it's hard to make it out exactly though with everything else being green and then that's um, turbo so definitely a lot brighter uh, but you can see you can kind of get up into the trees as well so there's your your red and green filter at 60 yards and there's the chair again you can see and so now we're gonna stop the video and then we're gonna head out and we're gonna go we're gonna start going out to 100 200 yards something like that all right stand by everybody all right so before we head out to the orchard one thing I wanted to point out to you guys is there's several trees all around my neighborhood you can kind of see some right there and I wanted to show you guys how easily this will light up treetops and things at a distance so all right this palm tree is in my neighbor's backyard you can see way over there those trees are pretty far away kind of see that these are the tops of some of my trees right here easily light up so these palm trees are two houses down from my for me and then that top of that house way over there that is literally down at the end of my cul-de-sac and um, across the street so kind of gives you an idea of how far this light will throw a beam that's my neighbor's house so yeah, if you definitely had to come out and search your backyard or anything like that, definitely, definitely have the power to do it with this light. All right, everybody, we're out here in this orchard. I'm going to have my son walk all the way down out to 100 paces with a flashlight. As you can see, this is pretty long, pretty far. I think what we might even be on this setting... that's low as you can see there kind of see pretty decent that is medium ignore the cars going by high you can see there turbo you can see it's pretty long ways down there and then there's your strobe so what we'll do now is I'll have my son go down there with a flashlight uh, when he gets to 100 yards, we're going to go through all the modes, and uh, we'll we'll show you show what we're working with. All right, all right, everybody, here we go. So if you can see that little white dot down there, that's 100 yards. That's where my son's standing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn the light on. So here we go. That's low right there. You can't really. I mean, you can see his light, but you can't see necessarily him. There you go. Now that's medium. As you can tell, there is a person there. You can kind of see him. We go high, definitely lighten them up now so you can see that there's a body there. And then really high, you can really see that there's somebody there. So let's kick this back down to low. And we're gonna put on the red filter. So you can see the red filter there in the trees. Red filter on low, can't really, you can just see his light. Medium, you're kind of starting to get there. When you get to high, you're definitely starting to notice that there's a person there. And then turbo definitely lights up the field and you can see that there is possibly something there you can't really make out what it is but you can see there's somebody there and then with the strobe that's kind of the effect you get 
So we're going to head and kick this back down to low, switch out for the green filter. And that's how easy it is to switch filters out. So this is low, and you can't hardly tell that there's a light on at all. There you go. We're going to kick it up to uh, medium. Still kind of having a hard time discerning. Medium is, the green filter I feel is definitely for more up close stuff. There is high, and you can barely kind of tell. And then that's turbo. So as you can tell with turbo, it's the light's getting out there, but it's definitely kind of harder to tell what's going on. So I feel like the green is definitely more of a um, up close type thing where the red will get you a little bit more distance. So let's kick that back down to low and we're going to have a move out to 200 yards. Cool. All righty. All right. So where you guys saw that flashlight moving around at, that is 200 yards. That's where my son's standing at with the light. You can still kind of see it right out there. So here we go. This is low. No filters. Low. Eh, I mean, you just, you can't really see much. I can't, I can see him because of the, he's holding the light. But other than that, I can't tell there's a body down there. So we're going to kick it up to medium. Okay, I'm starting to see there's some sort of a shape out there. High. I can definitely make out that there's a shape. And then turbo definitely lighten him up he's down there i could you know i could see his outline i'm hopefully this translates good on the video uh strobe you can kind of see you get that strobe effect um the green filter i'm not even going to mess with because at 100 yards you could barely see but we're going to go ahead that was low on the red filter that's medium right here that's high and that's turbo so even on turbo, it may look like it's super bright down there, but it's not. I can't hardly. I mean, the only reason why I could tell that he's there is I could see his flashlight. So at 200 yards, the red's not really going to project as far as you would think. Um, so I think with the red and the green, green's definitely 100 yards or closer. Red, you can push it out to 200. Um, past, past that, I think the red and green filters really aren't going to be very useful. So let's kick that down to low, and then we'll have him. I'm gonna have him move out to 300 yards. And when he gets to 300, I'm gonna have him kind of wave the flashlight up and down um, so we can kind of see where we're going from there. Sounds good, we'll see you in a second. All right, guys, if you could move the light up and down. All right, so right there, <laughs> that's 300 yards. Okay, that's 300 yards right there. Uh, so we're gonna turn the light on. So obviously with low, I mean, I can barely make out that there's something there. And, I, and mostly it's because he's got the light in his hand. Kick it up. Looking with my naked eye, I can see some reflection off of his sweatshirt a little bit. Now I'm definitely getting to where I can see that there is something there. Can't quite tell uh, what it is, but there I can tell there is an object in the middle of this aisle. And then when you get up to high, I can definitely tell that there's something in the middle of the aisle. Can't tell what it is if I didn't know, like... I might suspect it'd be a, a, a pipe or a dog or something. Obviously, if it was a dog, you could probably see um, some reflections in the eyes. Uh, but if you kind of come up here, I mean, you can kind of get an idea of how well this lights it up. So uh, I will have him go to 400. And we'll probably, I think that's probably, actually, I think he's pretty much at the end of the orchard right now from what I can kind of tell. So uh, we'll just go ahead and stop right there at 300. So at 300 yards, you could definitely see something going on down there uh the red and green filter i'm not even going to mess with as far as that goes at that distance because like i said once you got past 200 with the red and it was really about 100 with the green uh, but yeah we could see that there is somebody down there or a something down there you know um, so that works pretty good then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kind of roll this around through the orchard um this is low so you can tell we're in an orchard kind of looking around like this like hey there's some trees but definitely as you get, look at that, just that jump right there. You went from low, you're like, okay, there's a few trees I can see. Bam, you get up here and you're like, oh, okay, there's a lot more. Okay, now there's really a lot more. And now you can really start to see. So you can definitely tell that there is a huge difference from low to turbo. And uh, definitely lights up. If you got to get up here and look up in the trees, things like that. You're like, okay, what's going on up here? Is there anything up here? Definitely see that as well. And then, remember I was telling you, 
you guys think this thing's like a lightsaber look at it's a lightsaber in the sky so like I said if you had to get some attention of a rescue plane or something to that effect you could definitely do so if you were stuck out in the woods so there you go guys let's uh, actually this is a big flat field this is turbo I mean you could see you could definitely shine the light out there and get a good idea of you know if there's something somebody a vehicle anything like that so this could definitely be a good light to use um, in a rescue situation if you're uh, EMS fire law enforcement anything like that um, definitely would highly recommend this light um, even just for camping hiking things like that if you're in really really dark areas you can definitely light it up get some definitely get some throw out there to see what's going on or if you're a hunter it's definitely a good light like I said at you know anywhere from 100 to 300 yards you can definitely see what's going on you know any farther than that it'd have to be something pretty big or you're looking for eyeballs I would say uh, but for for most purpose for most purposes this light's gonna be a really good light for for somebody uh, if you had to really throw some light down so there it is guys that is the Phoenix HT 18 uh, awesome pretty cool damn light I would highly suggest picking one up um, I'm running this thing on turbo right now it's still pretty cool I know sometimes people worry about about it getting hot I just flash you guys out but I'm holding my hand in front of the light so yeah, you see my veins and stuff um, but don't I just blinded myself uh, but it's definitely a cool light and I would definitely suggest getting one like I said that thousand yard claim uh, you know you're kind of getting at the very very tail end of the light there but uh, there you guys go Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay sharp, and hey, stay tuned for some more flashlight reviews because I got a few others to do, and uh, hopefully I'll get some more. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.